So today we're gonna to be talking about the bones of your house. What's better, timber or steel? We'll weigh up the pros and cons of both of these options, and as a bonus, we're gonna give you our recommendations. Hi, this is Nelvin here from Buildy. We're client advocates and help people navigate the building process. If you find value and like what we talk about, please like and subscribe for more building related information. So let's talk about steel for a moment. The earliest trace of steel is at the beginning of the Iron Age. When heating iron, people realized that they could make it stronger, resulting in steel. Now steel has been used in everything from the medicine industry to agriculture and construction. The first steel frame houses built in 1886, it was actually the Ritz Hotel in London. And throughout the 20th century, as steel became more and more readily available, it became more popular in construction. Fast forward to the 1980s where lightweight steel was getting developed. It was more in line with what the current market offering of steel homes is. This is an example of a steel frame that would be normally used in a house. It's 70 millimeters thick by 30 millimeters. And if we look at the profile, this is about 1.2 to 1.5 millimeters thick. So let's talk about the benefits of a steel framed house. Well, in the 1800s, the reason steel was introduced in the building industry was to protect it against fire damage and this is still current now the benefits of steel is that your home if it ever does catch on fire is less likely to crumble over now it doesn't necessarily mean that you're completely protected from fire because you will have things that are flammable in your home secondly steel is a manufactured product which means that the tolerances are a lot lower all the steel studs are straight with the correct insulation you're gonna get a great end product and lastly termites can't eat steel we've been told that termites like moisture and your home is still gonna have timber elements. So it's not a bulletproof solution, but it is less likely than what timber is. Now let's look at some of the downsides of steel framed houses. Well, a steel framed home can be noisy. With the changing temperatures, the frames will expand and contract, and this can cause your home to be noisy. It's only offered in a prefab solutions. Now, whilst they may be slightly faster to put up, the structures have its downsides. There's very little tolerances, and in some cases, it may look like a mismatched puzzle. Unlike timber, steel does not hold warmth. This means that your steel home will not be a great insulator and may require additional insulation to bring it up to standard. Now these are two pieces of timber most commonly used in construction here in Australia. The first one is a 70 millimeter by 35 millimeter and you can see that this is a sturdy piece of timber. The second piece is a 90 millimeter by 35 millimeter and it depends on your builder's methodology as to what they subscribe to but the key difference between the two has got a lot more to do with your insulation. A 75 millimeter stud will only allow you to go up to R1.5 or else a 90 millimeter stud like this will allow you to go up to a 2.7. Let's talk a bit about history. From a history perspective, traces of timber started in India in 200 BC. It was simple joinery with bamboo legs, and we also saw that Japanese construction was predominantly in timber, and the primary reason for this was volcanic activity where stone structures would just crumble, but timber allowed for flex, held steady. Some of these structures still stand now. So let's talk a bit about the benefits of timber. Timber allows for flexibility and speed from a construction perspective. When we talk to plumbers and electricians, they prefer working with timber because there are no sharp edges. They like the fact that you can drill a hole through a timber stud and it won't impact the structural integrity of the material. Timber is also a natural product and with the right planting processes, it's actually a more sustainable solution for the long term. And thirdly, when we inspect homes from a frame stage, timber frame home feels sturdy in its design. As you can see here, this is a steel structure and it has a lot more flex than what you would normally find in a timber structure, which has no flex. So it means you end up with a sturdy product. So what are the downsides to timber? Well, to begin with, termites love timber. If you don't have adequate termite protection, your home can be at big risk. The termite protection offered in the market is very effective at the moment. Only really see problems with termites in homes where the barrier has been breached and this is by leaning things up against the walls or having garden beds too close. Secondly, timber is a natural product, which means that it's not always straight. This means that your builder will need to have the right skill sets to ensure they put it together to give you a nice straight finish. And thirdly, the timber that goes into your walls doesn't have any fire retardant properties. The risk is if your home catches on fire, it can potentially crumble. So now that we've looked at the pros and cons of both timber and steel, let's share our recommendations. Now we believe that both these 
these products have their strengths. And once you break down the key benefits, it generally comes down to termites being a primary reason why you would choose a steel frame home over a timber. Now the problem is this, your architraves and your joinery in your home is still made out of timber, which means that termite protection is required. So the benefit is negated. As a result, we would recommend timber marginally over steel. Now we hope you got value from this video. And if you'd like more information, please like and subscribe. Until next time.